Thank you very much, Chair. Um, and my question is to the Mayor. Um, so last week, you announced an extra £38.1 million into MOPAC from the allocation of additional council tax and business rates income in your final budget. And within that, we've got £30.1 million for the Met, which the table says is funding 1,000 police officers. But it's important to note that this isn't adding new officers. Section 4.6 of the budget is very clear. It says these are much needed officers committed to in 2019, and the extra funding simply reduces the need to draw down reserves which the earlier budget had already set aside for this, while we wait for the longer-term government settlement in the CSR. So alongside that, the other £8 million is going to violence reduction and victim support initiatives, with £3 million to the violence reduction unit. So in terms of reducing violence, there needs to be the right balance of enforcement versus prevention work. But in the context of this additional funding and how you've distributed it, is this in fact the right balance? So, thank you for your question. So, the, the £30 million uh, uh, is because that's recurring, uh, which is really important. The business rates that I gave to uh, the police uh, was, was uh, non-recurring. Uh, it's growth. Uh, and you, you see the consequences of the pandemic on our business rates. Uh, three quarters of the money is received as business rates. And so, I'm really concerned about our ability to continue the offices that we funded from City Hall. If you remember, we funded about 1,300 some through council tax, some through business rates. And because of our concerns about, about the predictability of business rates, and you'll be aware also, uh, Sean, about the revaluation concern we've got around business rates, uh, there's a lack of confidence in our ability to have recurring funding. So the £30 million gives us confidence that for four years, we can pay for the additional offices from City Hall. So that's good. So we're not making reductions. If you remember again, when I became mayor, we were sort of managing decline because of government cuts in relation to police officer numbers. So uh, uh, the £38 million must be used for policing functions. The £8 million goes towards prevention, which is the maximum we can really do safely. Uh, uh, so again, uh, by, by the second week of March, I'll be able to allocate the rest of that. The two things I've announced already is for the um, electronic tagging of those who've been conducted. Yeah, okay. Um, I, I need to interrupt because I do need to come back on that because those officers, that, that use of reserves was absolutely secure until at least 2023 in your draft budget. And we know there's a gap of £9 million coming up next year in a big reduction in the violence reduction unit budget. Um, it just seems to me that, like, we can differ on the issues, but I think the balance of enforcement versus primary prevention should mean that you're putting equal efforts into securing the future of the VRU, as well as making sure that we can afford to keep paying these, these officers. And you're talking about four years into the future when the VIU's got a gap next year. You see, you see my point. No, the, the VIU challenge with the VIU yeah. budget is that the Home Office only confirms the government funding allocation in February and on a one-off basis. Yeah. Yes, so we saw that this year where £7 million was announced by the government in February, so it wasn't in earlier stages of the budget process, but obviously now is there. And this is the problem for the VIU in future years, is that we don't have that certainty of government funding. That's exactly my point. I'm afraid I'm running out of time to go into this more, but I will continue talking to the VIU about the gap they face and how we can rebalance things. So thank you very much.